Hi, I'm Bethany Donham, preschool pastor here at Willowbrook, and I have a few minutes today to share with you out of Jeremiah chapter 25. Here we see Jeremiah, he's talking to the nation of Judah, and he's very frustrated with them because he says, I've told you over and over again uh, what to do, and you have not listened, you have not repented, and now you're going to suffer the consequences. Um, it reminds me of being a parent. If you have children, you can relate. When you've asked your child to do something and they will not do it, and um, or you see them doing something and you know harm is going to come their way if they continue in that way, and they will not stop even after you have said you need to quit that. Um, and then sure enough, something bad happens to them. Um, there's always the consequence of not listening and doing what is right. Um, the consequence that stuck out stuck out to me, excuse me, was in verse 10 when he says, but God says, I will take from them the voice of joy and the voice of gladness. That's for 70 years without joy or gladness because they weren't living in God's will. They were not listening. 70 years is a lifetime without joy or gladness because they wanted to do things their way. I just can't imagine a lifetime without joy or gladness because oftentimes we think, oh, I know what's best. I, and or, or we think, oh, this sin is just, it's temporary. It only takes, you know, I'll, I'll quit doing it soon. Or, you know, it feels so good. I've had a rough day and, you know, doing this will just help me feel better. And we know that that's not pure joy. It's fleeting. It doesn't last. Pure joy, true joy only comes from living in true repentance in Jesus Christ.